Here is the sample command, and I've got two queries for you. Select everything from student course table, sample five. Five random rows will come back. Now, I've got another version of this. Select everything from student course table, sample point 25. 25% of the rows are coming back. Now, take a look at this. Select everything from student course table, sample 0.25 or 25%, comma, 0.25. We're going to get 50% of the rows coming back. There will be two 25% samples. What I really want you to focus on right here is there's never any duplicate rows coming back. You're not going to see the same row twice. Now, if you ran this query 10 times, you might get a lot of different rows coming back, but you'll never get a duplicate using the sample in this manner. Here we're going to learn about the keyword sample ID. Now, stay with me here. We're going to select the student ID, comma, the course ID, comma, sample ID. It's a keyword from the student course table, sample 5, comma 5, comma 5, and I'm ordering by that sample ID. And as you can see here, we're going to get five rows coming back in sample ID 1, five in sample ID 2, and five in sample ID 3. You know, if somebody came to me and said, I need 50% sample to do some testing, I'd give them a sample of 50%. But often they'll come back and they go, what are you doing? I wanted two samples of 25 and that's the way the testing has to go based on our standards and that's why you might have multiple samples. But once again, notice there are going to be no duplicate rows coming back because that's the way sample works. I want you to imagine a table that has 20 rows and you run a query that says, select everything from my table, sample 100. How many rows are coming back? If a table only has 20 rows, but I want a sample of 100, only 20 rows can come back because we can have no duplicates when I use the sample. Let's see that in action right here. We're going to select the student ID, the course ID, sample ID from the student course table, sample 5, comma 5, comma 5. Take a look at what happened. We're ordering by sample ID, so we got five rows in sample 1. We got five rows in sample 2. We only got four rows in sample 3 because there's only 14 rows in the table and that's the way sample works. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.